here outside Lindlayer. I'm not sure if that's the guy who did the jolly old uh, thing, the jolly old, what do you call it, aeroplanes. Um, it's the tax office anyway, and we've just had tax filing date. I filed my return on time, but then when I looked at it, I thought I wasn't happy with it because, well, all the subtleties um, of my tax situation can't be reflected by the online machine. So I thought I'd go and get some physical forms, and then I can, you know, do what I like with them. I can put things into the, into the. Uh... These are the new intake for the tax office, by the way. These kids are all. Uh, the new intakes that they're going to be allowed in there soon. They're going to be crawling all over everybody's tax returns and uh, selecting them and inputting them into computers that people have been putting in. So I'm going to do a correction. I'm, so I went there to collect my manual forms. <coughs> <coughs> I'm next to manual forms. Well, they're all they're all laid out there, but they're covered in dust because in the room next to it, the the, the um, builders are in rebuilding, and you know they. They've got building dust that's sort of flying around in the atmosphere there, just landing on the forms. So the forms are all covered in building dust. Um, I tried to leave the top one and just dig down underneath for other ones, but uh, the dust seemed to pervade everywhere in them. Um, and they're made out of a particular grainy, low quality paper that, that kind of attracts that dust almost, doesn't, uh, doesn't let it easily go off it either. So you can imagine later filling in the, the tax returns. Um, you've got every opportunity of finding that your pen, if you use a pen to do it, which you have to do, it doesn't have to be an ink pen, but it, let's say you, you, you do it with a ballpoint or an ink pen, either way you're going to get it clogged up with that building dust. And certainly it doesn't have a very pleasant feel to it and uh, it take a lot of waving the thing around or beating it against furniture to get that dust off. So I complained to the guy sitting there in the reception and said, look, all of this building going on in the next room, all the dust is settling on the tax forms. Those tax forms are all going to be dusty. That's terrible. And he looked at me and he said, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right there. I think the same. And that's just all that came of my complaint. Evidently the guy was not empowered to uh, put the building work off until after the tax season was over, which is a bit of a pity really. But that's the sort of poor planning that you get for your money if you pay taxes. I suppose at least you, you know there was no there was no limit to the amount of pages you could take except for the fact that there was very few left of some of them. I always take a couple extra just in case I screw them up, you know. Um, so uh, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day and he said, why do you do your taxes by hand? You know, it's, it's very 1990s to do your tax by hand. Nowadays everybody does it online. I said, well, I, I did it online and that's why I now have to redo it by hand. I don't want to have the same mistakes in it that were caused by the online pro pro program. So I uh, prefer to do it by hand then I can see exactly what it is and then I hand it in when it's ready and I, I'm not under any kind of stress that if I don't do it within a certain period of time the thing powers off or I lose it, etc, etc. So uh, I mean, tax is a serious thing and serious things need to be done by hand. So tax returns by hand and gold list system by hand. This, as you can see, is the uh, CBD, the Central Business District of Warsaw. It's not very large. Once you get beyond this, there is the occasional skyscraper, but not that many. Um, this is the area where skyscraper, there's, you know, the kind of attempt at doing a Polish Manhattan, some people have referred it to, referred to it as. Um, so, there you go. It's very nice walking weather. I, I walked yesterday practically well. I was out and about, but I forgot to um, 
where my pedometer, which is very rare for me to forget to take it. And so yesterday I didn't, I noticed quite soon that I didn't have it and therefore I wasn't motivated to walk much. So I took taxis and things like that instead. So I don't think, I probably walked about, well, between half a kilometre and a kilometre, really next to nothing, because I wasn't motivated to put anything on. So that puts me really far back. At any rate, I've done 47 point six I think so far today so far this year over the course of eight days so that's not so brilliant if you want to get if I wanted to get uh, well keep on track for something like seven per day seven kilometers per day which is better than what I have to do I have to do six to make my record um, I think yeah then I need to do about, but if I want to keep ahead of that, then I need to keep on about, uh, do about seven today, I suppose.